Designer Video Tutorials Mind Your Buckle. This tutorial, I'm going to show you quickly the grids. And now, first thing to do is you just go to a view and show grid. Now, if I go there, it just disappears and show grid to create it again. Okay, once you've actually got that, you can also go to a view and grid and axis manager. Now, Show grid or automatic grid. Now that's the first, obviously, automatic grid. Very basic, shows the grid. You can modify the color of the lines and you've got subdivision as well. So you can see a subdivision. Most time I just keep it like that. And that's really about it. You can change the color. So if you want it there. But you can also use the use automatic grid, turn that off. And then suddenly you've got the basic option, and I'm going to show you the spacing for this one. And you can go like that, see the spacing, rapidly go down there, and also divisions, so you can do that. But there's nothing appearing there, so obviously that needs to be increased. So you've got those. Now I'm just going to turn that off, I'm just going to put that down. But that's what they are there, and you can just see that. I'm not going to reduce that down. Now, there is also an advanced option. Click there. And you'll find there's a whole, I'm not going to go through all these because there's actually quite a lot. And you can obviously try them, try them out. You can go quickly go through this isometric, one, isometric, and they've all got obviously their purposes like TD, drawing, whatever. So, but I'm just going to go for that one. And you can see when you actually go to some of these, you've got here, down here, custom, and then you can actually modify, you've got angle, you can actually tweak that around, angle there as well. So you can do all that sort of thing. I'm going to go for just that one and I'll show you the spacing so you can just change the spacing again you've got guttering you can just change that so you can make that okay that's a quick run through of the grids now of course once you've actually done that you want to actually use them now sadly there is no sort of way of capturing the grid like turning this into a into sort of pass or any or actual raster format or anything so but you of course can use it. So once you've actually got that, you'll want, and I'm just going to enable snapping, and there's a whole load of options. I'm not going to snap to grid, snap to guides. Obviously, that's handy to have that one. And then just go to the various tools, and I'm just going to go to the pen tool. Just going to go there, and then you can see when you're going across, you can actually see it sort of snaps. You can just see it, just yep, click. So it really makes it easy just to click there, click there, click there, click there. Then you can just go down there, click there, there, click there, click there. And of course you can change colour. I'm just going to change colour. I'm just going to go over to that one. There, click there, click there. Okay, and change that. So a very quick and easy way of creating some interesting sort of designs using the grid. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.